Because the only agreement that you reached were there other items in there? Uh, no, sir. The uh, $4,000 covered uh, what Thursday said they needed to offset interest, insurance, attorney fees, and what have you. Now, there may be some other minor charges, such as, of course, our attorney has been involved for the past couple of weeks in negotiating with them. So, uh, whatever we have to pay our attorney for his involvement, as far as I know, that would be uh, the total amount that the district has been out in settling the bus issue. Well, we weren't particularly satisfied with the agreement. Uh, uh, we were uh, pleased that uh, we were able to, to agree to something for a change. Uh, we are very satisfied that the buses have been able to, to uh, be moved to other schools and it looks like we're going to come out of this thing better than previously thought. How are you going to protect yourself from this happening again? Well, uh, in our procedure, finding out what we could do as far as this particular situation is concerned, we have uh, talked to the Attorney General's office and the, the Attorney General tells us that, uh, that they are making some changes. They're studying it right now and changes will be made. By noon Saturday, the buses that are parked in the practice field behind Wilmer Hutchins High School will not be there anymore. An agreement has been reached between the district and Searcy Bus Sales. Mr. Searcy has sold his buses to other school districts. The loser in this is Wilmer Hutchins. It cost them $3,000 to settle with the Searcy Bus Company. In addition to legal fees that they had to pay their attorney, to settle this problem that they were faced with. I received some calls yesterday from some superintendents that are coming in today and tomorrow to pick the buses up. Uh, they seemed elated at the fact that uh, they could uh, pick up buses immediately delivered at less money. Then they can now purchase the same buses for it to be delivered in December. So uh, it, it became a bonanza to those districts, and I feel that that's why the state uh, got rid of them so quick. It possibly, had we have had many more buses, uh, uh, the demands over Texas would have made it real simple and easy to have disposed of the buses. Well, now, these superintendents told me that uh, when they were contacted by the state and offered these buses, uh, that in the price that the state offered them the buses, that they were approximately $500 cheaper than they could at the present time order that bus uh, with, a, with a December delivery date, plus the fact that uh, they're below the current price. Uh, and that's understandable since everything else is going up. These buses were ordered uh, almost a year ago. So uh, anything currently bought uh, is usually higher than what it could have been bought for a year ago.